Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad y'all are here today. This week we're just gonna be running and I decided to mix in running with challenging myself and waking up at 5 a.m. for a week going to the gym and then going for a run. I mostly want to focus on the running aspect of it though this week um, and just how it went. Um, I definitely had a few days where I wasn't feeling like my 100%. Um, I still did it though. And then there were other days where I was feeling amazing like on top of the world. Yeah, I just wanted to challenge myself as y'all have seen all the girlies are doing it. They're running, they're looking cute in their outfits, um, cute shoes and everything. Um, I can't promise I was looking as cute, but <laughs> I did have my hokas on and I actually got those maybe a little over a month ago now or about a month ago um, because I wanted to start running more. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the first day. So on this day, it was pretty difficult for me to get up. Um, obviously, I'm not used to getting up at 5 a.m. every day, so getting up was definitely hard. Um, but I pushed through, it was a slower morning, but once I got to the gym, I was like ready to go. I did my usual workout, and I do have another video where I go through my week of workouts if y'all wanna check that out. Um, but I didn't really record that for this video. It was pretty funny because, so I went to the gym and then I realized at the gym that I hadn't charged my phone, so I actually had to go back home and everything. Y'all, I had to come back home after my gym workout. I didn't get to finish that, but my phone didn't charge all night and I didn't notice until I was at the gym. So I came home and charged it till at least it was 50% so that I'm good for my run. And the sun's out now, so it's great timing, actually. Um, but rough start in that sense. <laughs> I kind of wanted to be done by now. But, you know, we got to roll with the punches. And that's what today had in store for me. After that, I did go for a run. And I decided to go to a neighborhood that's close by um, to run around there because I knew it was safe. Hey y'all, I just got back from my run. It was great. I ended up doing a little bit over three miles. Um, the only thing was my knee was kind of hurting toward the end. So I'm about to stretch because that's really important to do. That's something I need to be better at. So um, yeah, I'm about to stretch and that'll be it for today, but can't wait for tomorrow and see how I'm feeling after today's run, so. I felt very proud of myself, um, especially for not being a runner. I think I was just so excited um, and I just kind of went for it, so. That was great. Um, it was a really great feeling to accomplish that on day one. All right, so day two. Day two, I woke up and I was feeling really tired. Good morning. It's day two. Um, it's a lot harder for me to get up this morning. So, but we're up and I'm ready. Um, just gonna walk my dogs first. And yeah, let's get it. <laughs> Bye. Like it was really hard for me to get up this day, to be honest. So um, I struggled a bit, but I ended up, I got up and I went to the gym. I saw the beautiful sunset and um, then I went for my run and I did less mileage than the day before. So I did 3.07. Uh, you know, I still, did it and my knee was hurting a bit this day, but um, I pushed through it. I just kind of adjusted. I've been trying to be very like conscious of what I'm doing when I'm running, like what my feet are doing. And this is based on like research I've done before about form and everything. So, and it would help in the moment. Um, I tend to have knee problem on my left knee and it hurts when I run too much. So I have to like roll it out and everything, but um, I was able to get it done and I was, feeling really good. Uh, I ended up stopping at my boyfriend's house cause it's like on my path. And um, it was great cause I got some water and I got to go to use the restroom and then kind of like get ready for the run back. So that was great. Hey y'all, I just got back in from my run and it was a great run. Um, I saw so many people out today, it was so nice. 
full on run club of like 15 people, um, lots of bikers out, got to see a sunrise. I mean, it was just great. My knee was hurting though, especially toward like the second half. So I walked it off like the last five minutes, but I pushed through and I'm happy I did because I feel really good right now. I'm about to stretch to make sure I keep my knee healthy for the rest of this challenge. Um, and yeah, it was so good. I already have 8,000 steps and it's only eight in the morning. I've already burned a thousand calories according to my watch. So I just, I feel so good and accomplished. So far I'm loving this challenge. And even though it was really hard getting up this morning um, because I went to sleep late last night because we had family over and stuff. But um, even though it was hard, I'm so glad I did. And I'm just loving like, being so active in the morning, just, I don't know, I love it so far, but I will see y'all tomorrow for day three. Bye. All right, so day three. Day three uh, was interesting because we had Hurricane Idalia here. Hey guys, it's day three of my little running journey. Um, today is usually my rest day, my active rest day, um, and my knee is actually hurting. So I am not going to run today, but I am going to walk and there's the hurricane outside situation. So I'm going to be walking on the treadmill and I'll do an incline walk. So it gives me more, a little bit of a challenge. Um, but yeah, that's day three. It was fine though. It wasn't really hitting us too bad here in Orlando. So I woke up at 5 a.m. anyway, and I went uh, to the gym, but I was feeling the knee pain from the day before. So I decided that um, I was just gonna walk, but I was gonna make it challenging. So I walked on an incline this day. Hey guys, so I'm just finishing up my walk. Um, I ended up doing almost four miles, a little over an hour. And I'm just cooling down now. Um, it was great, I really got a great sweat in. My heart rate was up. Um, but yeah, it's day three. I was feeling great. I got a great sweat in this day. And walking, honestly, I think is amazing if you have the time or if you wake up early like I was doing this week. Um, it just feels really good to just walk and it's not so hard on your legs, but I'm glad I did this you know, instead of running and I listened to my body because I could have pushed myself, I feel like, but I didn't want my knee to be any worse for the next day. All right, so Thursday, day four came around and my knee was feeling better since I had rested it the day before. Hey y'all, made it to day four of running every day, waking up 5 a.m. So I'm just at the gym real quick and then we're gonna head to our run right after this. Also, I was stretching uh, every single day. I know how important that is um, for running, for working out, for everything. That doesn't mean I'm usually good at doing this, but I knew that I was gonna be running every day for a week and doing all this. So I really wanted to be like on top of my stretching. So I would stretch like while I was at the gym, I would stretch between my sets to prepare for my run. So day four, I did like 2.6 miles outside and it was a really great run actually. So it felt nice outside. Even though I did less mileage, uh, I kind of wanted to do that on purpose just because I wanted to still recover and like rest my knee some. But either way, it was a great run. Hey y'all, I just got back from the run. I did a little over two miles today. I didn't want to do the full three. Um, I got a really great sled in. Like, it was just a really great workout. That's my dog asking for breakfast. Um, but yeah, my knee felt better. Um, I already have over 7,000 steps in for the day and it's barely gonna be 8 a.m. And yeah, I felt really good today. So can't wait for tomorrow and this challenge is going really well, I think, so bye. All right, so day five, this was the final day and this was the hardest day actually for me to get up, for me to feel the motivation to go. I was not feeling motivated at all. Hey y'all, it's day five and I just got to the gym. I woke up a little later today because I had trouble getting up, um, but we're here 
and we're getting it done. Um, so I'm gonna get my workout in, my gym workout, and then we'll go for a run. Bye. At this point, I had been running for five days straight, um, or this would have been my fifth day now. Um, and I was working out my full workout of uh, lifting weights, waking up at 5 a.m. every day, which I'm not used to doing. So my body was like overload. So I definitely was not feeling it, but I woke up and I did it anyway because we don't do things off of just motivation. There has to be like a, what, I don't know what you would call it, but there just has to be like a mental, toughness aspect to it of just deciding and committing to something and doing it it's not always the motivation um so even though i was not motivated this day i got up and i went for it anyway um and i did what i could so and i felt very proud of myself for just doing it anyway um but yeah so day five i only did about like a mile running um and i decided to do this on the treadmill this day just because i just was not feeling it um so i said well i'm not feeling it i don't feel like running outside so i'm just gonna do it right here at the treadmill and that's what i did so i did run a mile like i said um, and then i just walked it off for a few more minutes after that maybe like 20 minutes um so i still got my movement in and it was good i still felt proud of myself afterward I did feel kind of like blah about it. Like I felt kind of like disappointed. I don't know if that's the word, but um, yeah, I was just like, you know, I had been running three miles a days prior and then I go to one mile and I wasn't just feeling great. So obviously it can get to you, but regardless, it was a good day. It was a good run, good workout. Um, and yeah, it, that's how I finished my five days of waking up at 5 a.m. and going to the gym, doing a full workout of weightlifting and then going for a run. Okay, so obviously I feel like this challenge, it's not super realistic unless you've already been doing some sort of training like this um, or you're training for something very specific. Um, and then just going from doing, you know, I do work out five times a week, so that's something that was normal for me. But like I said, mixing that in with waking up at 5 a.m. and going for a run, which 5 a.m. was new for me, and then running, I would usually run maybe two to three times a week, not every single day, or sometimes I would just run once a week because I'm not a runner. Um, it was very intense. Um, but I wanted to talk about some of the pros of Waking up at 5 a.m. to do all of this, I definitely had like a feeling of accomplishment and that immediately put me in a great mood. So I saw that I got up at 5 a.m. When I would go outside, there was nobody around really. The gym was pretty much empty most of the time or at least most of my workout. Um, so I felt really good about that. Like I was proud, um, I was managing my time well. Uh, I got to see some beautiful sunsets as well, so that was very inspiring to me. Um, I felt very productive just getting my workout in at the beginning of the day and getting it out of the way, and also just getting most of my steps in. So I try to have a goal of 10,000 steps a day. Um, on my bad days, I try to hit eight. I work from home, so it's hard getting my steps in. So when I do, I'm like, I feel very happy about it. And when I don't get them, I feel kind of like stressed about it. Um, so doing this, I was getting almost my 10,000 steps every single morning before like 9 a.m. So that was amazing to me and that made me feel so good. Also, one of the most important benefits or pros to all of this was obviously I was very tired. <laughs> early in the day, so that meant that I slept a lot better. Um, so I was sleeping really good this whole week and I had been having trouble sleeping the weeks before. So some of the cons I would say, um, I mean obviously my knee was hurting, so I had to be careful with that because I didn't want to like injure myself. It was very hard on the body. I would say by the end of the week, like I said, I was definitely feeling it all over. I was sore. Um, I also was feeling pretty puffy and like just swollen. You know, if anything, I thought it would be like the opposite. I thought I was gonna be feeling slim and everything, but I mean, it, it makes sense. There's inflammation from working out, lifting weights, and then I mix that in with running every day. 
So definitely it was just really hard on the body. I had no recovery days in between, which I think are super important I'm on, in your usual weekly schedule. Even though mentally I was feeling amazing, like I accomplished so much, physically I was definitely feeling tired and worn out and puffy, so I wasn't feeling like confident in my clothes and stuff, but um, yeah, I guess that's just like a con from doing it for a week like this. Also, I just wanna say I'm very grateful for my health and besides my knee hurting, um, I, I think I'm pretty healthy and I can move my body and I'm definitely grateful and aware that I can. Um, I know not everyone can do this or you know, they're not in the greatest health. So I'm just, I'm very grateful and it's a privilege to be able to do this. And like I said at the beginning, um, I definitely, I've noticed like all the girls are looking super cute and like running around. That's one thing I did not focus on this week. I wasn't trying to look cute. I literally put, as y'all saw, I put on an oversized shirt and shorts and just cut my hair up and ran. I know it is possible, it's as simple as going out and or ordering online and buying a cute set and doing all of that and just putting it on. Um, but that was not my focus this week. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't look amazing, but um, awesome for the girls that do. Honestly, it's very uh, inspiring. I definitely don't recommend just jumping into running every single day and you know, doing all of that. But if you do, um, definitely stretch, get enough sleep, hydrate, eat well, um, get a great playlist going, because that's very important. <laughs> and yeah, just find some inspiration online. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like the video and to subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, bye. <laughs>